Charles builds crap here. What you're about to see is a quick video. I was just screwing around with both of the, well, screwing on this with this Southern Pacific Railroad lock, and uh, bought them at a garage sale. Was uh, soaking. This one was really jammed up. I couldn't feel anything moving inside, so it's been soaking with some triflow in it for couple of weeks now and uh, this one was just sitting in my collection anyway screwing around with them looking through them with my bore scope um, trying to figure out what was going on if I could make some lever picks but they don't appear to be normal lever locks I don't know what the mechanism in, is inside them if anybody does has a video that they can link me to I would appreciate it but uh, they don't appear to pick like normal lever locks I opened them both uh, with improvised tools just poking around seeing what moved and what didn't and found a way to open them so There's an open. I... <laughs> ah, South Pacific Railroad lock. 
just rusted up when I got it and I couldn't move anything in there really so I soaked it in a bunch of oil and tension wrench let's see if I can do that again it's not like a normal lever lock it would appear well I did push up on that one And then that one. I don't touch the back lever. Push the front one up. The shackle comes part way up. Push the second one up. Let's see if I can get a better angle on it for you guys. Hold on. And get a little. tension wrench snaked around here the first lever which was the one that was the most stuck for pulling on the shackle and I can lift it part way up go to the second lever which now I can't find at this angle The uh, normally there's a some sort of swing plate that's over top of here. These were missing it when I got it. I have another one of these that I haven't soaked in oil yet. I don't know if this is some sort of serial number or a date, but it says 1957. And I think my other one is 1958 but uh SP Co for Southern Pacific Railroad Company got these at a garage sale along with a couple other locks so I'll get the other one soaked up with oil and see if the same trick works on it Maybe I'll try it without soaking it in oil. It's really hard even when that's soaked with oil, but let me go grab it real quick. Alright, here's the other one. 1958. For all I know, that could be like a gate number that was supposed to be assigned to or a serial number. Or it could be a year. I don't know. It'd be cool if it was a year. What's that? Ah. Now this one I have not soaked in any oil. Oh, but look at that. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, they're not uh, like a normal lever lock. Whatever they are. What are so if anybody knows or has gone through the guts of one of these and uh, or knows of a video to point me to, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> well, that just shocked me. Uh, I guess thanks for watching. Uh, this is why you should pick these things on camera when you're screwing around with locks. And remember, keep it legal.